Hi, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a coffee break this morning. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's kind of a puzzled one. It's kind of maybe a low one. It's kind of things I say I'm, I'm not even very sure of where things stand. Um, uh, I waited a few days till after uh, the Manchester tragedy to gather my thoughts on things um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Firstly, um, one of my daughters actually knew a wee lass that was in the arena um, watching Ari Underground um, and she's fine, she's, she's safe. Um, but it was, it brought it very, very close to home. And also the fact that Manchester is quite like Glasgow and it had a very industrialised past. So there's areas of poverty because that those industries have gone. Um, and it's also known for its friendliness, uh, very friendly people, very cosmopolitan city, um, a lot of different uh, cultures and faiths in one city that normally get along okay and that reminds me very very much of Glasgow so it also is quite close to home because um, Manchester reminds me of Glasgow a lot which is my nearest city. Um, so there was that. Um, also I watched for some spiritual friends and people and, and they were saying very little on it and some were very vocal. Um, and I, I felt that the ones that were saying very little were a bit like myself. All I did was put up the healing rose and get people to add energy to it. So the vocal people were coming in in two ways. Um, there was very much the sense of um, hurt and horror and sending prayers and sending healing and sending love and everything. And that, that was that was so good. Um, but I have many thousands of followers on my Facebook uh, pages, the Colette Clairvoyant and the Colette Brown one. And some people who I would regard as very good people and spiritual were actually coming in uh, quite aggressively about um, and saying certain things about immigration and uh, saying certain things that could have been seen as actually slightly racist or very racist. Um, and that was difficult watching. It was also difficult watching other people getting involved and stating their views and, and actually aggression coming out of uh, two different views. Now, I, in a, some of these conversations, didn't get involved in to at all. I'd maybe put up the healing rose or I'd sent um, a lot of healing. Uh, but what happened after that is I stood back from the comments. Um, and to be honest, um, just let people say what they needed to say because um, it's, it's a hard situation because although I don't agree with a lot of the things that were said, um, they weren't hate speech or whatever. So I stand by everybody's right for free speech because they were just stating an opinion. And those opinions were maybe difficult to hear, but they weren't in any way hate speech like has come from certain Daily Mail journalists, so-called journalists that talk about final solutions and stuff. They're no way like that. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't have anybody like that on my channel uh, or on my Facebook page I, I would just block them but much as I maybe didn't agree with what was being said I knew that these people had a right to talk also what was on my mind as well um, and I do consider myself spiritual but you know when my kids were younger I took them to see Ant and Deck and we went to um, arenas and, and saw um, people. Sometimes the kids and their teens went themselves. Um, if one of my children had been killed or maimed or injured 
I don't know what my view would be. Although I know that the sort of mother big cat in me would probably want to pounce and tear whoever did its throat out, to be honest. Um, I, I would, in that moment, want revenge. And I think that the people that can come out and say that they forgive the perpetrators or whatever, I, I, oh, I admire them so much because I, I don't feel I would be that way if it was so close to home and it was one of my own children. And I'm saying that and it's like there's part of me that, you know, has gained a lot of um, people enjoy what I say about spirituality, they enjoy my videos, they enjoy my posts, they enjoy my books. Um, but you know what, it's, it's okay to be human. And if you're feeling the rage um, because of it being very close to home, then so be it. But one of the reasons I'm doing this little video now is a tweet I read this morning and it, it kind of, um, it shocked me a bit. It was from either Liam Gallagher or Noel Gallagher. I can never remember the difference between the two of them, but they're from the band Oasis uh, from Manchester. And I don't always, you know, I liked Oasis, but I was thought they were kind of cheeky chappies and blah, blah, blah. Um, I hope they're from Manchester. I think he said he was from Manchester. I used to think they were Liverpudlian for some reason. But anyway, he was talking about, you know, sending, uh, you know, his best wishes or whatever, and the sadness he felt that Manchester um, people had been hit by terrorism. Now, right at the end of it, he signed it off with love and light. And I thought, woof. I didn't think Liam Gallagher was the type of person that would say love and light. And then I thought, how dare you collect, how dare you judge someone in whose energies you perceived maybe 20 years ago as a bit arrogant, uppity, full of themselves and not that spiritual? How dare you assume that they're still like that when they're maybe in their 40s or 50s? That's the one thing. Remember, don't don't judge people. Don't judge a book by its cover or even it's past. So when I saw this from uh, one of the Gallagher brothers, Love and Light, I thought, yeah, he's right. There will be people out there that say, oh, there's all these snowflakes and stuff sending love and light and it doesn't do any good and, you know, that we need harsh measures, we need trips in the street and whatever. And whatever the political answers to this, um, I hope, the political answers will be fair and I hope that they will not be near jet reactions. Um, so what can we do as spiritual people in this sort of situation? We can send love and light and we can send prayers and we can send healings and we can keep the people that have been traumatised or lost loved ones in this in our thoughts. And we can also send a sense of peace to the communities. And I don't mean just little thoughts here and there. I mean sit down and spend half an hour in meditation or in prayer and send that energy out there. Come on, folks, what we are talk, a wee thought here isn't enough. It's going to take prayers, it's going to take a sense of just beseeching either your your deities, your gods or goddesses, your higher self, the universe. Don't think that thinking a wee bit of love and light and move on is enough because it's not. Now, I don't expect people to get all political and go out there. There's, there's people that will do that and there's people that are not suited to that. But if you're going to send love and light and you're going to send prayers and healings, then uh, please do it properly. Um, don't put a symbol for Manchester on your Facebook page and that's it. If you're doing that, follow up, do the prayers, 
believe in the good stuff. And I know there's people that are on my pages that have done that, will be doing that anyway, I know. But what I'm trying to say is that it's too easy to be symbolic and then move on. Um, my mood and the way I'm feeling this week because of this is it's all over the place, all sorts of emotions. Um, and I'm taking the time to process them. I'm taking the time to do the prayers. I'm taking the time to meditate. And I'm, I'm sending love and light because really what else can I do at the moment? I'm sending the prayers because really what else can I do at the moment? Um, and I, I hope you understand where I'm coming from with this because with love and light, there comes hope. And in a situation like this, we all need hope. Um, and again, if there's anybody that's been really affected by the Manchester tragedy, um, please know that whatever you feel at the moment, you're right to feel. And if that at the moment is hatred, then so be it. If, this, if it's forgiveness, so be it. If it's distress, if it's depression, if it's anger, so be it. Work through what you need to work through. And meanwhile, those of us that are back from the situation, although affected by it in consciousness, we will hold space for you. Now, holding space is about holding people safe while they grieve, while they deal with things. And that's what we can do. So in our prayers and in our work and our meditations, we need to send love and light. But let's back it up by holding space for the people that need it. Let's hold that space and be strong for people who have lost people for people that saw things that they didn't need to see that night, for all the ambulance drivers, nurses and doctors, and for communities that now fear backlash because of what one imbecile did. Um, hold space. Now, I don't know where else to go with this, to be honest, I really don't. I'm heartbroken for the families. Whether you're a mum or a dad or not, this hits home because it was aimed at children and children enjoying themselves. And that's that type of act is meant to take the joy away from our lives. It's meant to make us so immobile that we can't do anything. It's meant to make us afraid. And in all honesty, I see myself as quite a fierce person where campaigning for things or getting out there and doing things when I was younger and had my health. I quite strong willed. Um I would think nothing of standing at a peace camp or whatever. But now as I'm older and not so fit I can hold space. But although I'm strong in my grandmother years. It would be a terrible lie if I said that there wasn't a bit of fear on me as to what comes next or whether, you know, family members should go run a marathon in a town or a city or whether family or friends should go into this concert. Or to, to be um, not slightly afraid, I think, is to is not to be human and I know we're all meant to go on and do our business and stuff um, 
and I, I, I do think that's the best way but I, I don't know how you feel but and I would be slightly uneasy about certain things or going certain places and that's just the truth so here's someone that considered themselves quite strong and quite um, powerful sometimes empowering um, I've often said I don't fear much at all all I fear in life is anything happening to my girls really so that's why this gets me because any one of those children and young adults killed could have been my daughters so yes I am uneasy and a bit fearful um, so yeah but Nelly just wants to lick me and make sure that I'm okay don't you? <laughs> I'll be darling um, so I'm going to leave the comments open a lot of people that have made um, that have talked about Manchester and um, terrorist events close their comments but I'm going to leave mine open but I hope in doing that that um, there's a respectfulness in any comments that are posted I would like to know how you feel um, if you're with me on holding space and love and light or if you're very angry and want different options and if you feel slightly fearful for maybe your children um, and if, if that leads to conversation then that's good but anything aggressive, racist um, or non-spiritual uh, will be deleted but I, I know that we can talk um, for those of you in the USA, Manchester is a bit like Boston um, maybe a bit like Chicago um, good solid communities great sense of humour um, solid strong people normally quite tolerant in most ways so I know that the states haven't had much news on this so for anyone that's on here that's what Manchester's like and um, if you could send your prayers and hold space to please so I hope I've not offended anybody with anything I've said on this video I, I didn't sort it out I, I didn't know if I was going to talk or not but just reading that love and light from Liam Gallagher I thought well that's the only thing we can do and hold space and uh, I didn't expect that so he said it so and I, I just want to I want to send love and light, I want to pray hard for the people affected, I want to send healing, nice blue calm energy, I, just, I want to help but spiritually is very much the way I can do it. So if you'll join me that would be nice and if you even just need to talk about how you feel know that um, you can do it in the comments below because I will not let anything uh, anything extreme anything too aggressive or whatever get on this channel so thank you for watching my love and my light and my hope and my prayers go out for Manchester they also go out for many of the other bombings that have taken place that are in other parts of the world that either we don't know about or haven't been reported in the mainstream press um, it's time to love it's, it's time to move forward with hope I don't know what more to say Many blessings. Bye now.